Okay, so at this point, you should have a lot of blocks of code. And if you'd like, I'm gonna zoom out, it should look something similar to this. Ooh, even that's not even zoomed out enough. Um, lots of zoomed out, but you can kind of see here. Um, here we go. I've got my, we can kind of tell a difference in the timing, right? So here's my 200s, my 600s, my 200s. So here's my, my dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Um, so this can get really cumbersome as you are writing lots of things um, repetitively. And so there is an easier way to do this, and that is by writing what's called a function. And so a function is kind of a shortcut way to execute some code, okay? So the way in which we're gonna do that is we are going to go here to our advanced blocks. We're gonna select function and make a function. And our function, we're gonna give it a name. And for right now, it's not gonna need any inputs to execute the function. We're just gonna say, hey, do it, and it will do it. So we don't need to worry about any of these parameters up here. So I'm gonna call my function a dot. And it kind of shows it, kind of puts it right in the middle of your screen. So you may have to kind of move things around to find your dot there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, okay? So. What I want to do is I want to avoid having all this repetitive blocks here. And so instead of like writing this analog pitch 800 hertz for 200 milliseconds and then pause for 200, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that there and that there. And so this actually writes my dot for me. Okay. So it's a short, it's like a shortcut way of writing a bunch of code. So I'm going to have a new input and this is gonna be for my button B, like when I press button B. And instead of having like this, you know, these codes here, I'm just gonna call my function. I'm gonna say, hey, do this. So the way you call your function is it's in the advanced blocks under functions. And now when you click functions, you're gonna see you have some options. Before it just, there was nothing here. It was just like, hey, make a function. And now that you've made a function, you can actually call it. And calling it is like saying, do this. So when button B is pressed, it's gonna do this dot. It's gonna run this code for me. And I actually want it to run it three times. Remember, my S is a dot, dot, dot. So I can duplicate this. And duplicate this. And so here, this is just run my dot, dot, Dot. Now here is where it gets a little tricky because now I need to have like that space between my letters. So I need to write another function and I'm gonna call this um, space actually between, I guess I'll call it symbol space. Oh, I'm gonna call this letter space. Okay, and see, it just kind of throws it right in the middle of your screen. So you just be careful with that when it's there. So letter space, letter space is the space between my letters. Now here's a little, here's what's tricky. We have already input that there is 200 milliseconds after every dot. So when I have my letter space here in my initial code, it's 600 milliseconds because that's between like this block right here and this block right here. But if my function already has 200, well, then I only need to have 400 milliseconds in addition, okay? So when I go to put my pause here, I only need to have, and there's no 400 here, so I'm just gonna manually make this a four. Okay? So this adds up, this says, okay, in between, if I put this at the end, it's gonna take this 200 and add another 400 for that pause between my letters. I'm gonna come over here and I click on function and here's my letter space one. So I can put that there, okay? So this in essence right here is now my dot, dot, dot letter space. This has essentially replaced this block, this block, this block, this block, this block, and this block, okay? So it's kind of reduced it to now I have like my dot, dot, dot letter space. And now we'd have to write our dash, dash, dash. So I'm gonna let you do that dash, 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 because um, I think you should be able to write a function for the dash and input it here into your um, button B sequence, okay?